Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is your girl, Dolores Reset Love. Um, I'm on here this morning, and I just want to just encourage you guys just to keep pushing, to keep pressing. Um, I'm kind of <laughs> inviting you guys into one of my personal uh, moments of worship, but right now it's just, man, it's just so strongly just on my heart just to tell you guys, like, this is the time where we need to really just get after God like never before. Right now, it's not the time to back up. It's not the time to draw back. It's not the time to be running from God. This ain't the time for that. This is the time to yield. This is the time to surrender, um, to, to draw nigh to him, because he would draw nigh to you. Like This is a time to come into the fold. This is the time to come back, backsliders. This is the time to come back. Um, and another thing is that like, um, God wants us to get back to the place where all we want is him, where all we want is him. Sometimes we get so caught up with wanting and desire and all these other things that at the end of the day, Lord have mercy. But the Bible says, what does it profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul? All these things that we want, all these things that we're praying for, not saying that it's bad things to pray for, to desire, or aspire, but without God, like it really doesn't, <laughs> it really don't hold no weight, you know, it doesn't hold any weight. Um, but this is just a time to go after God, not just for all, not for all of those things, but to go after God for God. That's, that's the time that it is, to go after God for who he is, for who he is. Once you know and you learn that when you go after God, that he literally is the source, that he literally is the source of everything that you need and could ever need and will ever need, then you will understand you'll understand who he is like who he really is his power his glory like i can't live without it i don't want to live without it and at this point like that's just on my prayer lord i don't want to i mean yes i got all these different needs and you know the needs before i even ask but god just give me you Woo, that song by shana wilson just give me you just give me you. Take me back to that place where all I wanted was you. Take me back to that place where my focus was on you. And that's where some of us has to get back to. We got to get back to that place of the fresh fire. That place where all God was all that we needed. That, that he was all that we wanted. Where we used to just try to eat, sleep, and breathe his presence. Like that's where we need to get back to. What's the scripture? And it talks about how he, um, how his soul panted for God after, like a deer after the water brook. Do you know what that's like? Do you know what that means? Like even before the deers even come upon the water, they smell it. Like and and they they strongly desire it. Like we need to get back to that place where God, I need you. I need you. My spirit man needs you. Like. My my natural body needs oxygen. That's how we have to get. That's how that's that's what we need to remember. Because literally, that is the case. Sometimes we don't think that that's the case, but it's it is very much so the case. We need God. We need Him. And sometimes we get caught up with so many other things, like we don't need Him, and like we need Him. I don't know where I would be in my life without Him. I don't know where I would be. I don't know where I would be without the Lord. I don't know where my life would be, where I, what my life would look like if, if Jesus didn't save me when he did. If he literally didn't snatch me out the fire. If he didn't snatch me out the pit. If he didn't snatch me from those traps that hell had laid for me, Lord. I like, like he, he literally... He literally saved my life. 
And I have no idea where I would be without him. And he's continuing to save my life. It's not no one-time event, y'all. It's not no, I go to the altar and that's it. Like, it's a continuous thing. It's a daily thing. You don't have to be at church to pursue God. You don't have to be at church to pursue him. It's good to go to the church because that's where you can get even more strength in, in, in the numbers. The Bible says one chase a thousand, but um, two can put 10,000 to flight, you know. There's power in numbers, and that's with anything. That's with anything. On a job, at a school, for any goal, there is power in numbers. There is power in numbers. We just need God. We need God. And some of you, you guys are watching this video, and you feel like you got all this time left. And the thing about it is we don't know how much time we have. <laughs> We don't know how much time we have left here on this earth. But what I do know is while I'm here, I'm going to give him all that I have. I'm going to give him all that I have. I don't care if it make me look like I'm trying to do too much. I don't care if it make me look like I'm overly religious or, you know, it don't take all that. You don't know what it takes for me. You don't know what it takes for me because you don't know what, where I've been. You don't know my struggles. So how are you going to say it don't take all of that? You don't know where I, you don't know what my life used to look like. You're going to say it don't take all that. No, no, you don't know. It takes all that and some. It takes all that and more. Sometimes we might need to remember. We might need to remember what it was or the way things were when we were lost. We might need to remember the way things were, the way we were, when we were bound, when we were out in addiction, when we were just making stupid, foolish decisions. All I know is that I need him. And right now, he's not just calling me back. He's not just calling me, but he's calling you. He's calling you into his presence. He's calling you into his glory. He's trying to draw us. So my mom always say when she's praying, she say, he has need of you. Backslider, he has need of you. He has need of you. And this is for the backslider in the church and out of the church. There's back, there are backsliders in the church. Come to church every Sunday and you ain't nowhere near God. And you know it. But God is calling you back. You need him. And he has need of you. It's time to get back to that place, y'all. God, we thank you. Just touch, just move. Have your way. We need you like never before. We need you. In Jesus' name. 